Talmud Bavli Gemara Brachot, Perik Shlishi, Daf Chaf Bet, Amad Bet, Chapter 3, Page 22b. Bikila de Rav Oshaya in the interim of Rav Oshaya's house, Atu Veshalul Rav Asi, the students came and asked Rav Asi about uh, allowing a Balkari to rinse just with nine kabin. Amar Lehu Rav Asi said to them, Lo shano ela lachol el hamagel. The law was taught only with respect to a sick person who caused himself deliberately caused himself to become balkari. Ava lachol el onso, but as regards a sick person who became a balkari involuntarily, pato miklum. A per, such a person is exempt from everything, and he can study Torah and doesn't need to rinse at all. Ama Rav Yosef. Rav Yosef said. It's the it's the mere chatzbe the Rav Nachman, the Rav Nachman's vessel have congealed together, so the broken pieces of Rav Nachman's vessel have congealed together, and it is useful. Mikedi now let Mikedi now. Kul hu amurae vetanae bide ezra kamiflege. All these amurae metanaim are arguing about Ezra's decree. Benechaze ezra hechi taken. Let us see how Ezra promulgated his decree. Amarabeye ezra taken levari hamagila beim se'a. Ezra instituted 40 se'a for a healthy person. Who caused himself to who caused himself to become Balkari? Uvari le on Tisha Kabin and as a regarding a healthy person uh, who involuntarily became Balkari, uh, Ezra required nine Kabin the Atu Amurae U Flige Bechole and the Amuraim came and argued about a sick person. Masavar Master Ravdimi maintains Chole Umat Hamagil Kavari Hamagil, a sick person who causes uh, himself to become a Balkari, is like a healthy person who causes himself to become Balkari. So 40 say is required. The Chole Le Onso Kavari Le Onso, and a sick person who involuntarily uh, has an emission is like a healthy person who involuntarily experiences an emission and only rinses with nine kabin. Omar Savar, whereas uh, another master, that is Ravin, maintains Chole Hamagil Kavari Le Onso, a sick person who calls himself uh, to become Balkari, is like a healthy person who involuntarily experiences an emission. So nine kabin is adequate still. Bechalele onso pato miklum and a sick person who involuntarily has an emission is exempt from everything. Uh, so he can study Torah without nine kabin. Amarava nehi detak and Ezra mtvila granted that Ezra instituted immersion in 40 se'ah for Balkari. Netina mitaken did he ever institute pouring, that is pouring nine cup in of water? Bahama Mar, for the master said, Ezra Tiken Tvila Lavale Karayin, Ezra instituted immersion for Baale Keri. Um, so Ezra never talked about nine cup in. Ela Amarava, rather Rava said, Ezra Tiken Tvila Levari, Hamargilar Ba'im Se'ah, Ezra instituted 40 Se'ah for a healthy person who caused himself to have a seminal emission. Ba'atu Rabbanan, then the sages came, Vihit Kinu Levari Le'on, Sotisha Kabin, and instituted Nine Kabin for a healthy person who became a Valkyrie involuntarily. Ba'atu Amurae, Veka Miflege Bechole, and the Amuraim came and argued about a sick person. Masa Bechole Hamagil, Kavari Hamagil, the master, that is Rodimi, maintains a sick person who caused himself seminal mission, is like a healthy person who caused himself uh, an, an emission.
in the first two mercy in Purisa. Ah, bechale le onso kevari le onso, and a sick person who involuntarily has a discharge, like a healthy person who involuntarily has a discharge and has to rinse with nankabin. Umar seva, and the master ravin maintains levari hamargila ba'imsa for a healthy person who causes an emission. Forty se'a is required. Bechole hamargil kevari le onso tisha kabin. Nevertheless, a sick person who causes an emission is like a healthy person who involuntarily has an emission, and therefore nine kavin is uh, allowed is sufficient. Ava lechole le onso, but a sick person who involuntarily has an emission. Patur miklum, he's exempt from everything, so he can study Torah freely without having no kabin. Um, we're just going to scroll down. We're about halfway down the first narrow section. Uh, so, where are we? We are. So we are, um, there are two, there's a line starting with two dots, Miklom, we're a couple of lines above that. Uh, so on the screen we're at Amar Rava Hilchata. And uh, that's about halfway down the first narrow section. Amar Rava, Rava said, Hilchata, the law is, the halacha is, Bari Hamar Gilvechole Hamar Gil, a healthy person who causes himself to become a Balkari, as well as a sick person who causes himself to become a Balkari. Arba Im Se'a require 40 Se'a before learning Torah. Uvari Le Onso Tisha Kabin, and a healthy person who involuntarily becomes a Balkari only requires nine, nine Kabin rinsing. Aval lechole le onso, but for a sick person who involuntarily becomes a balkari patu or miklom, such a person is exempt from everything. So he can freely engage in Torah study with neither 40 sat or nine kabin. Now from the two dots. Tanu Rabbanan, the rabbis taught no baraisa, ba'al keri shunat no alav, tisha kabin ma'im tahor, a balkari upon whom nine kabin of water is poured is tahor, ba'med varim amurim, when does this apply, la'atzmo, uh, only for balkari himself, that's la'atzmo himself is concerned, aval la'acherim, but to others, if he wants to teach Torah to others, Arba Im Se'ah, he has to immerse in 40 Se'ah, Rabbi Yoda Omer, uh, Rabbi Yoda said, Arba Im Se'ah, Mekom Mekom 40 Se'ah, in any way. <clears throat> what does that mean? Uh, what we're about to discuss. Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Yosho Ben Levi, Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Yosho Ben Levi, Rabbi Elazar, Rabbi Yossi, Rabbi China. Rabbi Lazan, Rabbi Yossi, the, Khan, the son of Rabbi Hanina, all gave comments. Chad mehai zuga, vechad mehai zuga, areisha, concerning the first clause of the Baraisa, one from this pair and one from this second pair, two different arguments. Chad Amar, one said, Hadamat, that which the Tanakhama said, Bamed, varim amorim, when does it apply that nine kabina are adequate? Le'atzmo, only for a Balkari himself, Le'atzmo, aval acherim arba'im se'ah, but if he wants to teach Torah to others, what is se'ah is required, lo shanu e'la lecho lehamagil, that statement was taught only with reference to a sick person who causes himself to become Balkari, aval lecho le'onso, but a sick person who involuntarily <coughs> A sick person who involuntarily became a Balkari. Tisha Kabin and nine Kabin is adequate for teaching others. The Kharama, however, one said, Kolala Kharim, Afilo, Kholela Onso, whenever a Balkari 
teaches Torah to others, even if he's a sick person uh, and had an omission involuntarily, he cannot teach them. Ad de ika arba imsa until forisa is available to a mess. The chad me haizuga, the chad me haizuga asefa. And concerning the second clause of the baraisa, one from this pair and one from the second pair, they dispute. Chad amar one said, Had amar rabbi yoda arba imsa amikom akom, that which rabbi yoda said. Forty se'a in any way. Lo shano ela bekaka. The statement was taught only if the if it's in a in the ground. That is the forty se'a, 40 se'a is in a pool in the ground. Avabekelim lo. But if it's within a vessel on top of the ground, this is not valid. Vecharama. The other one said afilu bekelim nami. Even if it's in a vessel, the forty se'a. Rav Yoda also deems uh, such a valid Bishlam Aleman Dama Filu Bekelim All is well according to the one who says Rav Yoda even in a vessel Hainu Tekatane It is a teaching a Baraisa state that states Rav Yoda Me Rav Im Sa'ami Kol Makom Rav Yoda says Foti Se'a in any way but according to the one who says yes, only in the ground and in a vessel is not allowed. Mikoma komla atuye mai. What are? What does it mean in any way? What does that include? La atuye maim sheuvin to include that includes. Uh, so the Gemara responds. This is to include drawn water. <clears throat> uh, so what does that mean? That means Rabbi Yoda maintains that even drawn water may be used for the Balkari's immersion as long as it is not in a vessel but is in the ground. Rav Papa Rav Huna Bereta Rav Yoshur Varava Bashmuel, Rav Papa, Rav Huna, the son of Rav Yoshua, and Rav Bashmuel, Karihu, Rifta, Bahade, Hadade, were breaking bread with one another. Amalehu, Rav Papa. Rav Papa said to the others, Havu, Li, Letiti, Livruch, allow me to recite Bekaramazon, blessing, on behalf of a group, Denaful. Il ilavai tisha kabin for nine kabin of water have been poured on me. Amalehu Rava Bashmuel Rava Bashmuel Bashmuel said to him, Tenei now we learned in a baraisa, ba medvari mamurim. When does it apply that nine kabin is adequate? Le atzmo the balkari himself. But if you want to give over Torah to others, forty se'a is required. Rather, allow me to recite a blessing on behalf of our group. That's what Rav Bashmuel said. For forty se'a was poured upon me. Amalehu Rav Huna. Rav Huna said to them. Havu lili didi livruch, allow me to recite a blessing on behalf of the group. Deleika ilavai lohai velohai, for upon me neither this amount nor that amount was poured. He wasn't a Balkari at all, so he didn't have any requirement for immersion. Rav hama tavil bamaale yoma defischa. Rav Chama immersed on the eve of Pesach, Lehotzi Rabbi Miyadei Chovatan, to fulfill the obligation of the public, that is to say blessings on everyone's behalf, Veleit Hilchata Kavate, however the Lord does not record with him, uh, therefore immersion, the law says, the Halakha says, that immersion would not be necessary. Now we'll just uh, scroll down. We're going to start the Mishnah, which is on the second line.
of the very bottom section. So on the screen it's starting Mishnah. Mishnah. Haya Omed Bitfila Veniz Kashehu Baal Keri. If one was standing in prayer in Tfila that is saying the Shmonesre, and he remembered that he was a Baal Keri, Lo Yasik Ela Yakatser, he should not stop praying, rather he should shorten the blessing his blessings. Yarad Litbol, if he went down to immerse in a mikvah, Im Yachola Lot Olihis Olehit Kasot Vilikrot Ad Shalotehe Hanet Hachama if he is able to go up from the mikvah, cover himself and recite Shma before sunrise, Yaale Yit Kase the Ikra, he should go up, cover himself and recite the Shma the Imla, but if he is unable to do this before sunrise. Yit kase ba main vai Christ should cover himself with the water and recite Shma. Veloi kase lo ba main haraim. However, he may cover himself neither with foul water, velo ba meha mishra, nor with water in which flax was soaked. Ad sheyatil letochan maim until he puts more water into it. And how far must one distance himself from it or from excrement before he's allowed to pray? Arba Amot for Amot. Gemara. Tanu Rabbanan, the rabbis taught in a Baraisa, Hayao me bitvi lavinis kashehu balkeri, if one was standing in prayer and he remembered that he was balkeri, lo yasik, he should not stop praying, e la yekatser, rather he should shorten his blessings, hayako reba to ravinis kashehu balkeri, if one was reading from the Torah and he remembered that he was a balkeri, e no masik ve ole, he should not stop and go away, he should not stop reading and go away. From the Torah, Elo, Megam Gem, Vekore, rather he should slur his words as he reads, which uh, I understand to mean that he should say it very quickly. Rabbi Meomer, Rabbi Meir says, Ein Bal Keri Rashai Likrot, Batoru Yotem Mishlashab, Sukim. Bal Keri is not allowed to read more than three verses from the Torah. Tanya Idach. He was taught another Baraisa, Haya Omer Bitfila Verava Toa Kenegdo. If one was standing in prayer, Sanctuary, and he saw excrement in front of him, Mehalech Lefanavad Shiz, Shiz Rekena, La Achorav Arba Amot. He should walk forward until the excrement is for Amot behind him, and then continue. Bahatanya, but it was taught in, in a Baraisa, Lid Stadin, he can walk to the side, he can go to the side. Lokasha, there is no difficulty. Hada Efsha, this uh, is where it is possible to go for in front, for Amod in front. Hada Lo Efsha, and the second is where it is not possible to go forward. Hayami Palel Matsatso Abim Komo, if one was praying and found excrement in his place. So what's the state of his uh, status of his prayer? Amar Rabba, Rabba said, Afal pi shechatat filatot fila, even though he sinned, his prayer is valid. Mat kifle Rabba, Rabba challenged, Vaha zevach reshaim to'eva, but the Torah says the offering of the wicked is an abomination. This is in Proverbs. Ela Amar Rabba, Rabba, Rather said, Ho'il v'chata, since he sinned, Afal pishi palel tulato to'eva, even though he prayed, his prayer is an abomination. Tanu Rabbanan, the rabbis taught in the Baraisa, Haya omed betfila omayim shatitin al birkav, if one was standing in prayer, saying Shmon Esre, and urine was flowing onto his knees, that would mean that he lost control of his bladder. Posek adji chlo hamayim. He should pause until the urine stops. Vechazer mit palil. And then return to reciting the prayer. 
Lehechan Chazer. To which point does he return in the Shmona Esra? Rav Chisa v'Rav Hamnuna. Rav Chisa and Rav Hamnuna. Chadam Amar Chazer LaRosh. One says he returns to the beginning of Shmona Esra. V'Chad Amar LeMakom Shepasak. The other one says the place where he stopped. Leima Bahak Miflegei. Shall we say that they disagree over the following points?